Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily remove the background of any object or person in DaVinci Resolve using the Magic Mask in the Fusion page. This only works in the Tudor version of DaVinci Resolve. This tool is a game changer, especially if you are dealing with tricky footage or you want a simple way to extract object from the background. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve. To get started, make sure you have your footage or your image ready to go. I am using a simple clip of a person standing against a background. Let's drag this clip onto the timeline and jump into the Fusion page. At the bottom of the screen, click on the Fusion icon. This will take you to the Fusion page. On the Fusion page, this is where all the magic happens. Now you've got the media in and you've got the media out. The media in, this is a clip that is coming from the editing page. So everything happens between the media in and the media out. Now instead of manually keying out the background, we're going to use the magic mask, which is super simple and accurate. To add the magic mask, first you want to select your clip and then hit shift and space. A tool selection menu comes up in the text area type magic mask and hit add. The magic mask has been added between the media in and the media out. Next, we'll need to isolate our subject from the background. Now here comes the fun part. With the Magic Mask tool selected, head over to the viewer. You'll now see your cursor turns into a qualifier. Start drawing over the object that you want to keep. This could be a person, a product or anything. As you draw, DaVinci Resolve will detect the edges. The more you draw, the more the tool refines its selection. You don't have to be perfect, just a rough outline and DaVinci Resolve will do the heavy lifting. Once you have drawn the mask, now you can head over to the inspector to refine the selection. You can change the mode from faster to better. This gives you a more refined selection. Now it's time to start tracking the subject. You can do that by clicking on this double arrow. And DaVinci Resolve will track the subject forward and then backward. You can see this happening in the viewer. If your subject moves, the magic mask will track it throughout the clip. If the selection isn't perfect right away, you can refine it by using the sliders in the inspector. This will help to eliminate any unwanted background around your subject. Now that we have isolated the subject, let's head back to the editing page where we can add a different background behind our subject. I'll just move this clip to the next track. I'm just gonna drag this clip from the media pool that I'm gonna be using as a background. I'm just gonna add it below this clip. Now look at that, how cool is that? To make sure that everything blends perfectly, you may need to adjust the mask tracking. If you notice the object shifting or the background peeking through, go back to the magic mask, settings and fine tune the mask. And that's it, you have successfully removed the background from your subject and replaced it with something new. All thanks to DaVinci Resolve Magic Mask. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure you like, comment and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a video. See you in the next one.